You've seen it on Sesame Street. It's called One of These Things is Not Like the Other. And we'll find out why on today's Two Real Guys. Welcome to Two Real Guys. My name is Larry Jordan. And I'm Norman Holland. You know, we've spent this entire series looking at the creative process of visual storytelling. We've looked at how shot order makes a difference in the impact, the emotional impact our scene creates. Right. Remember we discussed the fact that a single shot is directly affected by the shot that came before it and will affect the shot that came after the it? The rule of threes. Yeah, that's what we call it here in the world of Two Real Guys. <laughs> but what we're now going to really be interested in is how we can control the eye to create that impact. In other words, we can control where the eye goes first in a scene. We want to control where the eye goes. You know, Sesame Street has a song that reminds me of this. It's one of these things is not like the other. Which is actually a great segue into something I want to show you. We're going to flash a shot on screen for you. Three people lined up in a row. And I want you to tell me which person you look at first. Okay, shot number one. It's uh, the one that's tall. Short, tall, short. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Oh, that one's easy. The one that's white. Right, because it's different than the surrounding material. Let's do another one, now that you're picking up on this. Oh, that one's easy too. It's the one that's in focus. Absolutely. Why? Because it's different from the two that are out of focus. Absolutely. You know, let's do a fourth version. Oh, the one that's brighter. Right, and one more. Oh, very tricky. It's moving, and the others are holding still. So where did your eye go each time, Larry? You know, in every case, my eye goes to that which is different. Right. It focuses on the changing thing. Absolutely, and that is the key to how we move an audience's eye to what's important. You change something. Right? So that's about changing the eye. But we also want to talk about how you can change the mind's eye in a track. In other words, it's not just having a shot framed, it's having something that tells the eye where it has to go, finding something that makes it different. Right, we want to control where the audience's eye goes. That almost sounds like manipulation. Hey, it is, and I'm not afraid of that word. I think that's what we do as storytellers. We manipulate the audience to understand the story we want to tell. Now, in this case, we're manipulating them in terms of where the eye goes. And in the last episode, we talked about building the sense of change through the log line and, and understanding how the, the emotional arc goes. So it sounds like storytelling is all about change. Correct. What we're going to do in order to get an audience involved is to change something. Now, how do we decide what to change? Is there a, a technique we can use? Well, what you should do is look at each scene as you're beginning to shoot them and do an analysis of it. So you can take a look at a scene and say, what's the scene about? How does it further the overall story? Then when you know what the scene's about, then you say, whose scene is it? How does that person change from the beginning of the scene to the end, and where does that change happen? So in this case, and in every case, telling stories is about change. It's supremely important. I'll be back with a tip right after this. Even in a scene with multiple characters, there's only one character that generally changes in a scene. Know who that character is through your scene analysis, and that'll help you to determine how to act, how to block, how to light, how to shoot, how to edit your scene. It's all about change. I'm Norman Holland. This is Larry Jordan. Thanks for watching Two Real Guys. Next time I get to talk. <laughs> <laughs>